Hey, good morning team, how are you? So, it's a beautiful day today. It's uh, basically day 13 of the 30 day challenge. And it's been interesting. Last uh, night when I did the jog, I only done the jog for two minutes. Um, it was really about getting out and making sure I maintain consistency. And what was happening, I recognized was two things. One was, I was trying to maintain consistency uh, on actually getting out every day. And then the second thing was trying to do the 30 minutes. Um, and yesterday I wasn't feeling great psychologically, uh, emotionally, mentally. Uh, my state of being was at a softer level. And I really actually did not want to do any jogging at all. I just said, you know what, I, I, I need a rest. I don't want to do it. But something in my mind would not allow that to happen. Uh, it would not allow me to um, give up or give in. And at least the minimum that I could justify to myself and be comfortable with myself was to actually get out and do the jog. So I actually came in late at night, uh, got changed, which was effort, uh, put on my shorts, my running, uh, running shoes, and then went out in the dark uh, for a jog um, and it, yes it was only for two minutes but psychologically I've said your uh, mind um, your um, sense of being doesn't discriminate between whether you ran 10 miles or two minutes it registers the act of uh, willpower that you put in to uh, get out um, and that's what it acknowledges and that's what it that's what is called progress so my consistency in action allowed me still to progress and so I was in a good state um, this morning I did my deep practices my prayers uh, my affirmations my journaling and I feel really really good and so sometimes what happens is you do fall a little or you soften a little and you get maybe get disheartened a little and um, you know you might get emotional a little but if you have deep practices if you have regular routines and rituals then what happens is that fall is limited it's not that significant you can raise yourself back up and uh, that's exactly what I did thankfully uh, because of my deep practices um, and I think being a Muslim uh, within the, the faith of Islam, it does um, provide the structure, the deep practices, what are called like the five daily prayers, where you can go back in, dip back in, uh, if you're out of sequence, uh, to re-sequence yourself, realign yourself. Um, and that's done as a practice, which I find very powerful within that faith. Um, and, you know, you need to uh, constantly have nutrition, food, to energize yourself. So if you have deep practices um, that you do as rituals consistently throughout the day and deep morning practices, then um, they are very powerful in um, getting you to where your uh, mental state, your mindset needs to be. And I've said, life is one not on the outside it's got nothing to do with what happens on the outside life is one victory is made on the inside it's the inside game it's not about what you do what you possess but who you are and who you are is defined by uh, your thinking your mindset uh, your reflection on yourself your introspection on yourself and your clarity in who you are so it's called awareness consciousness and your connection to your awareness your consciousness and how that directs your thoughts really really matters um, that is where success is and that's where winning is because if you have mastered that area that space it's almost like a hot knife carving into butter and butter is the reality of life and 
you know, our thoughts, our deep practices, our mindset are the knife, the hot knife. And if we heat the knife correctly, then it's so easy to carve out our existence in life. Um, it's so easy. Uh, we have presence. We have, uh, you know, a state of energy uh, that is operating at a higher level when we have our deep practices and we um, fulfill and uh, action our deep practices. Uh, we're just on a different game. Um, you know, just consider somebody who is a sports athlete, a football player, and they go onto the field and they haven't done any warm-ups, any uh, practice off the field and they think they're going to, you know, perform and win the game on the field without any of that it's not possible uh, it's foolish it's foolhardy it's not realistic and it's not the reality of life that's not how life operates so a lot of us you know we're running we're trying to be busy um, you know how was your day oh it's really busy well busy doing what what were you doing and so you know we fill our lives up with busyness uh, but really we don't fill our lives up with thoughtfulness and it's thoughtfulness our thoughts our thinking that um, you know are going to create the life that we want to be um, so everything is on the inside developing thoughts is what it's about uh, you have to develop a mindset um, because the mount the mindset is the fountainhead through which thoughts flow and so if you develop what the upstream at the beginning you look at the source of the river and you focus on that first then everything downstream from that source will be effective so focus on the fount fountainhead which is the mindset uh, the fountainhead is through which water flows so the mindset is the fountainhead through which thoughts flow so if you focus on developing a mindset and um, then <coughs> you will be very successful and the way you develop the mindset is through your morning rituals your deep practices uh, and those are you know uh, what I call gaining perspective contextual awareness um, they are prayers um, there are meditation, there's cold showers, uh, journaling, um, exercise, in particular jogging. And they don't have to happen all in the morning, but I think your deep thinking practices do. Exercise I personally do in the evening, other people do in the morning. But I think I would, I would rather focus my time on developing my thoughts. Um, but it's all of the above. Uh, you have to do everything together and um, so so my friends um, my team uh, people who are watching this uh, you know I'm gonna put the video together of my two-minute jog which will be an embarrassment but it's not really an embarrassment because I uh, I exercise willpower uh, the power to will and I maintain consistency and that was for me a far greater thing and uh, you know I ha I didn't fail um, I didn't let myself down um, and that is really really important to the psychological state so watch the video and uh, you know feel free to leave some comments I'm trying to encourage somebody to perhaps put a comment together start creating a community and if you do have friends family, colleagues, uh, you think this video will be uh, insightful for, please feel free to share. Uh, that would really help me um, in terms of building up uh, my subscriber base. Uh, so to let YouTube know that, uh, you know, my content is valuable and it should be disseminated further. And also, um, you know, uh, I've forgotten what I was going to say, but uh, it was to the effect I'm hoping my thoughts are gonna come back um, well they haven't come back right now so I'm gonna leave it for for this moment um, but I wish you guys um, a very good day um, 
and I wish you guys um, joy, success, happiness, and uh, a deep practice. It's all about deep practice. Um, I'm going to grab some breakfast, um, and then I will uh, talk to you later. Later. Bye now. Hey guys, uh, it's day 13 of the 30 day challenge and it's uh, coming up to nearly two weeks, which is uh, nearly uh, halfway through. Uh, it's been very interesting actually. Today was a very interesting day because I literally wanted to stop and not do today. But something in my mind uh, made me do it and I'm trying to reflect over what that could be. I don't know what it is. Uh, I honestly don't, but I'll try and process, but there's in something inside of me that doesn't want to give in and uh, won't accept uh, not doing it. So I'm going to do a very short walk, uh, but there's two things going on in terms of willpower. One is the actual activity of uh, getting out and then the other one is off uh, doing the 30 minutes it seems I'm uh, getting consistent on getting out and I'm not dropping that at all but I am not so regular right now on the uh, actual uh, doing the 30 minutes so need to basically improve and uh, practice on that. So just in my short run, got to nearly the end of the landmark, just recording all of it. Uh, it's been, like I said, very interesting. And when you don't want to do it, as you can tell, also your breathing seems to be out of sync as well. So there's a whole kind of psychology there. Anyway, guys, I got out, which was really important. Otherwise I would have failed my 30 day challenge. It's probably been, probably been, probably been the closest I have been to failing. Anyway, got to my mark. It's two minutes and 30 seconds that's it but you know what something is better than nothing and i didn't give up and i didn't give in for me that's major huge i fought against my uh mind muscle uh the aspect or the part of me that wanted to give up and uh i uh I, I beat it and that I, will be a positive boost for tomorrow. I don't know why the, uh, the video went off, but it did. And uh, not sure what part of the conversation was missed out. But uh, anyway, this is under my belt. It's a major achievement because next time I'm thinking of not doing it, I'll have this in my muscle memory that I was very close to not doing it at all of uh, giving up, but instead, I just carried on, so I will have that in my muscle memory to be able to do the same, that it is possible not to not give in. It's possible to not give in. All right, guys, take care and uh, keep pushing, you know. Hopefully, I'm giving you some insight into possibilities and uh, what you can do yourselves. Thank you. Hey, guys, day 13, I'm walking back. Uh, it's interesting, uh, like I said, I only done a two and a half minute jog and that's pretty embarrassing, but it's embarrassing only on one side. The other side is that I actually went out, which was uh, a positive. It's like literally a one zero and I did a one out of this exercise because uh, I got out and I did the jog, whereas, you know, most people would just not even bother. And for me, that's progress, and it's a recording in my registry, uh, in my psychological makeup, that, uh, you know, I'm uh, not one of those who wants to give in. And so there's some sort of 
fire in me that will not accept defeat and uh, will keep pushing and so that's exactly what's happened and where that's come from I'm not sure but uh, I definitely am uh, inspired by it and uh, I have goals I have dreams and the fact that I didn't give up now reconnects me to those uh, whereas before I went out for a jog uh, I almost felt a little bit of defeat and I wasn't able to connect to my aspirations and my goals and now I am so I am worthy as you can say I am worthy uh, I'm capable I'm worthy and I deserve uh, the success I'm trying to achieve uh, it will happen it's written and I just got to enact it overcome my weaknesses and enact it the point is that this is the struggles you have to go through as an entrepreneur uh, these are the battles that you have to go through if you're passionate about something and you want to deliver on that vision then you have to go through the hurdles the psychological hurdles the ups and downs of circumstances but also of your psyche of your mentality of your mindset and that's why I think entrepreneurism and sales and uh, pursuing your passions is very uh, something that everybody should be doing because it creates meaning in life and it gives you experience and uh, not the mundane or the humdrum but uh, real experience of uh, living and what it means to be alive and use your creativity and intelligence to apply yourself in the universe and try and deliver output and results and if not output and results at least balance in your mind all right guys take care